and welcome to Marquis Closet. On today's tutorial, I'll be sharing with you a requested video of how to make a three part corset with queen and neckline and also a turtle neck. So, if it's your first time in my channel, please hit on the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting my channel. So, let's start. So the first thing I went ahead to do was to cut out all my pattern and I added half inch round. So on the sleeve, I left the neckline because we'll be using it as a guide. So on this part of my cup, I went ahead to merge my cup A and cup B, just like I said, forming a three part corset. So I'm just going to open it up so that you're going to see how it is. And this is what I have going down to the lower part i'm going to open my c cup and i went ahead to add half inch round and i ironed gum stay to the lining and on the main fabric i ironed wording on it so if you're using an already made cup you have to join your piece before ironing your already made cup on it so i'll just go ahead to trim out this excess that i have around the cup so i'm going to unpin the other part of the cup also which i ironed gum stay on the lining and i ironed the wooden so you're going to place it this way and you're going to join it with half inch so after i'm done joining this is what i have for the cup moving up to the upper piece so i went ahead to cut out another fabric for it because looking at the thumbnail we have another fabric on top of the three part cup so now i'm going to add wording to it but before i do that i'm just going to show you how you're going to attach it so you can even go ahead to notch the center and you're going to place it on it this way and you're going to stitch with half inch so if you're having difficulty sewing it you can go ahead and pin it down and attach it so also on this cup i'm going to repeat the same process place it and i'm going to join it so just like i said if you're having issues joining your cup you can go ahead and pin it so after pinning it you can find it very easy to stitch so i'll head over to the sewing machine and i'm going to sew with half inch joining my cup so after i'm done joining the two cups this is what i have i remember i went ahead to iron wording to it now i'm going to unpin this part and we are going to start working on the lower part so i went ahead to merge my pattern together and when we were drafting this out i did not add sewing allowance and i went ahead to add sewing allowance i also ironed gum stay to the pattern so this is what i have for the center and so while working on your fabric please iron an s stay on the main piece to avoid having ruffles on the dress so i had ruffles on my own fabric so next i'm just going to go ahead to mark out the lines where i will be creating my boning channel so i'll be creating it at the back of my dress so you can go ahead and create it in front and it's going to serve as a decorative channel so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to place this fabric which is about 1.5 inches you can go ahead and make yours double by cutting three inches so i'm just going to place stitch with half inch fold it in and i'm just going to fold it again and top stitch on it so just like i said i'm going to repeat the same process on the second one stitch flip it and fold inwards and i'm going to top stitch please when you're sewing iron stay to your fabric to avoid having ruffles which i had on my own fabric so i flip my material to the back and this is what my boning channel looks like and this is what the front looks like so now i'm going to attach my cup and to do that i'm going to fold this into two and i'm going to notch the center so make sure that your boning at the cup side is at the middle it is very important i'll also go to the other side and i'm going to fold it also and i'm going to notch to get the center of the fabric so right now i'm going to be adding my cup to it so 
go ahead to also notch your cup to make it relaxed so if you're not using a wadding you can go ahead to iron your cup with hemming gum at this point so after you're done ironing you're going to attach and also remember to iron your fabric when sewing now i'm going to place the center of the cup to the center of that place i notched and i'm going to place and i will pin so i'll go ahead to pin to make it easier to join so if you have issues sewing corsets it's easier for you to pin before sewing it makes it easier to join your cup so after i'm done joining this pinning this part of the corset now we are going to work on the other part so this is what i have after i'm done pinning and i'm just going to adjust the pin at the lower part so now to pin the other side of the cup i'm going to place so i will, i notice that the space i have is not enough for the cup so what i'm going to do right now is just to go ahead to notch the cup the body or the space i have for the cup part of this corset so i'll go ahead to notch that part round so after i'm done notching it after i'm done notching it i'm going to go ahead and place it right now and you're going to notice that it's going to fit in so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my pin and i'm going to go ahead to pin down the cup to the body of the corset so you're going to do it gently and make sure it matches very well so after i'm done pinning the body of the corset to the cup this is what i have and this is what is it is looking like right now so the next step is just to go ahead and i'm going to stitch with half inch round the cup so after i'm done stitching this is what i have on this part of the cup so on the next part i will be placing my cup just like i did for this part also and i'm also going to pin down this part of the cup just like i did for that other part so i'll go ahead and i will pin down the sides of this cup and after pinning it down this is what i have now we'll move to the other part where i'll notch and i'll also pin so i'll go ahead and do that and i'll stitch down my cup so after i'm done sewing my cup this is what i have on this part of the corset now we're going to go ahead to attach the sleeve and when i was cutting the sleeve i did not remove that neckline i'll be using it as a guide so i'm just going to go ahead and place it on it this way and on the lining piece i iron gum stay on it so i'm going to place it underneath it so this is how it's going to be so right now to top stitch it i'll place the right side facing right side and i'll stitch up the both necklines by the front side and at the back side of the sleeve so i'll just go ahead and turn it to the right side after sewing i'll leave the upper part and the lower part of this dress of this sleeve. so i'll go ahead and i'm going to turn this to the right side so after i'm done turning to the right side this is what i have on this part of the sleeve so i will still go ahead to iron it but before i do that i'm going to place it i will leave about half inch on this part on the cup parts i'm going to leave about half inch and i'm going to pin it down so after pinning this down i'm going to go ahead and i will repeat the same process also for the other parts so i'm going to leave ha about half inch coming in from the cup side and i'm just going to go ahead and i will pin it down and after i'm done pinning this part of the dress the next step i'm going to do is i'm just going to stitch it with half inch down after i'm done stitching this is what i have on on the yoke part of the back so i went ahead to cut out my pattern and i added half inch on this part on the lower part and i added also on the neckline so now i'm just going to turn it up with my lining so this is my main fabric i went ahead to mark all those points just for you to understand what i'm doing and now i'm going to open it up and i'm going to turn it up with my lining so i'm going to go ahead and i'll place the lining on it and i'll stitch the neckline stitch in front and stitch on this part so i'll leave the armhole area and the lower part open so i'll go ahead and attach a little loop on one part of it and i'll go ahead to stitch this other part also and leave the armhole open 
so the next step is to turn my corset with the lining piece and i'm going to fold off the sleeve this way so remember like what i said whatever you're doing to your main fabric you're going to do to the lining and i've gone ahead to stitch up the cup of the lining now i'll place and i will pin down and i will stitch with half inch on this side and also stitch and i'll leave the lower parts open so after i'm done doing that this is what i have and I'll, i've gone ahead to notch the upper part of my cup and my corset sorry and i'm going to turn it to the right side so after i'm done turning this is what i have and i will just go ahead to iron it out so don't forget to use your tailor's hand to iron your cup part so i don't have an ironing table here i'll just go inside and i will iron my corsets out so i'm done ironing my corset and on the upper part of the back this is what i have so now we'll be joining the shoulder to each other so i'll just go ahead and place the neckline of the front and i'll open up the neckline of the back and i'm going to use it to wrap it and i'll go ahead to stitch with half inch so if you're having issues placing it you're going to go ahead and pin it so it's easier to work that way while you're sewing pinning is very important it can reduce some stress for you so i'll just go ahead and i will pin at the neckline so after stitching with half inch i'm going to go ahead and bring this over this way bring the sides of the back and i'll go ahead to stitch with half inch on the side going over to the lower part i'm just going to take a little pinch and i will sew down so after you're done sewing you're going to have something like this looking like this so let me go over to the sewing machine and let me sew so after i'm done stitching the upper part this is what i have and on this side i'm just going to flip it just like i said and i'm going to stitch with half inch so i'll just place it and go ahead to stitch to the lower part so after i'm done joining my corset at the back this is what i have on both sides so now i will be introducing the lower part of this dress which is the back part and if you notice on the that part i went ahead to notch it so when i was cutting out my pattern i closed up my dad but i just marked this just to indicate and remember to add half inch at the upper part and at the lower part also of your the back pattern so i'm just going to place it so i matched my pattern to cut out so on that point i notched it at the center so that i'm going to place my yoke starting at that point so i'm going to go ahead and i'll pin the yoke part of this corset down to the body so after i'm done pinning this is what i have on the back and i'm going to go ahead and also pin this start from that part i notched and i'll pin so also i'll be introducing my lining which i have iron gum stay on and on this part i'm going to open it up this way and if you notice i also notched my lining and i'll place it at that point and i'll start pinning too so i'm just going to take out the pin also and pin it together the yoke the main fabric and the lining so after i'm done pinning on this side so i'm going to go ahead and stitch up the upper part stitch the side and i'm also going to stitch the side of this also so i also repeat this for the other parts of this back so after i'm done sewing this is what i have this is what my back looks like so after sewing i run a stitch at the back about half inch which i'll be inserting boning to so right now i'm going to sew the neckline of the back so you're going to measure this part this is why i left here and whatever you have you're going to multiply it by two and go ahead and add half so after measuring that you're also going to measure the back neckline so i have 4.2 at this part and i'll also measure this part which i have 4.2 minus the loop i have at the back so now whatever you have you're going to be marking it on a fabric so now that 4.2 inches you measured at both sides which is 4.2 plus 4.2 you have 8.4 so i'm going to be marking approximately 8.5 on the tape that's your neckline that's what you're going to mark first so i'm going to mark 8.5 on the tape 
so after i'm done marking it this is what i have and the next step is to mark what i have in front of my neckline so what i have in front of my neckline is 3.8 inches and i'm going to mark approximately four inches for one side of the neckline after marking it i'll mark another four inches that is 3.8 on two sides so after that i'm going to add about one inch for the front neckline to avoid it being too choky so what i have for the front neckline right now is 3.8 into 2 which i added i approximated to 4 inches that's 8.8 .8, and i added 1 inch to avoid it being choky on the neck so the length or the width of this fabric is five inches but i'm going to go ahead and reduce it to four inches because it was quite big after i was sewing so i had to trim up some parts so you're going to use about four inches and you're going to be folding it this way so it is time to attach it to the neckline of the dress and what i'm going to do right now is to fold these parts with half inch and i'm going to place it at the front part of my neckline and I'm, i'll start stitching with half inch so first you're going to pin it down because at the front part there is nothing to hold the neckline so i'll continue pinning till i get to the joining at the shoulder of the dress so when i get to that point at the middle or at the joining at the shoulder i'm just going to take about few pinch in front of the joining this way and i'm going to pin down so after pinning down now you're going to measure the distance in at your front neckline just as we have marked so for the front neckline you're going to take your tape remember we have 3.8 which we approximated to 4 inches so you're going to measure about 8 inches after measuring 8 inches you're going to add about 1 inch to it to avoid it being choky at your neckline and you're going to place so before pinning also you're going to leave few inches in front of your joining line at the shoulder and you're going to pin it down so after pinning it down you're going to continue pinning at the neckline at the back so if you don't want to add half inch or one inch to the front neckline to avoid it being choky it is also okay but it might be uncomfortable for some people so now after i'm done pinning i went ahead to cut out the excess and i'm going to go ahead to stitch with half inch and i'll stop where the joining at the shoulder stops and i will stitch on this part so don't forget to also fold in half at the other side so after i'm done sewing it this is what i have on this part and the next step is to go ahead and fold it into two so before folding it into two i'll fold up the edge this way and i'm going to fold it in so after folding it i'm going to fold it to cover up that joining at the back and i'm going to be pinning it in front so make sure that what you fold at the back goes deeper than the joining in front of your neckline and i went ahead to pin the sides also because i'll be stitching it so i'll continue pinning it at the back and when i'm done pinning i'm going to sew stitch on it so going towards the bad part that doesn't have anything that is the front part of this dress i'm going to go ahead and fold in with half inch at both sides this way so watch me while i'm doing it i'm going to fold half inch inwards this way and fold half inch inwards the other way and i'm going to pin it down with pin so it's important you pin it down because it will make it more easier for you while you're joining so throughout that front neckline i'm just going to pin it with half inch in front so after pinning it this is what i have and when i get to the joining at the shoulder i'm going to fold in and i'm also going to pin so i'm going to continue folding and pinning till i get to the end so by the time i get to the end of this i'll be inserting 
a loop at the end because this part has a loop we'll be inserting the second loop at the upper part of this dress so right i went ahead to make like a little loop a, i i sewed about half inch on both sides on a little fabric and i'm going to fold it in and it will be serving as my second loop at the upper part and i'll go ahead to pin it down so right i'll stitch with half inch follow that half inch and i'll go ahead and continue stitching and stitch to the other side so after i'm done stitching this is what i have right now at the neckline so now to join my dress to the skirt part i had to take out the zip and open up the side so if you haven't seen the video where i made this dress please go down to my channel and you're going to see a video of how to sew a mammet skirt with a cut together tail so now i'm going to place my corset on the fabric this way and i'm going to make sure it's at the center and i'm going to trace out the shape on the skirt part of my dress and i'm just going to go ahead to mark it out very well and don't forget to place it very well if not it's not going to come out very well also and at the back i'm going to place the back join it with half inch at the back and i'm also going to repeat the same process to the other side of the back also i'm going to place it and also join with half inch so next i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to cut out this part with my scissors after cutting it out i will be introducing the front part place it at the center and i'm going to pin it down and after pinning it i'll stitch with half inch on this part and half inch on the other part so after i'm done stitching this is what i have at the front part of my corset so at the back part of the corset this is also what i have and i went ahead to attach my zip so now we are going to be shaping the dress and to shape it i'm going to turn it to the wrong side of the dress and now i'm going to be marking all my measurements but before i do that i'll go ahead to pin it down so next step is to place my tape and i'm going to place it at my shoulder to under bust length which is 12 inches and i'll find my bust point which is 9 i'll mark my waistline also which is 17. so after i'm done marking i'm going to be placing my measurements so after measuring there what i have is 18 and a half and my bust side conference 33 divided by 2 is 16 and a half so you know since 16 and a half from 18 and a half i have two inches and i'll be sharing one inch at both sides going down to my under bust i have 17 and a half and my under bust side conference is 28 inches divided by two i have 14 so 17 and a half minus 14 i have three and a half and i'll be sharing it into two i have 1.75 inches and i'll be sharing i'll be marking it on both sides of my under boss going down to the waist line i'm going to my measure my waist side conference i have 17.5 there and my waist side conference is 28 divided by 2 i have 14 17 and half taking out 14 from it i have 3.5 and i'll share it at both sides so what i have left is 1.75 and i'll mark it at both sides then go ahead to take it down to the hip measurement or the skirt size that i have already sewed so after sewing this is what i have and i went ahead to make a little strip of fabric since i don't have a bead to attach by the side and i'm just going to attach one on it on each side because i don't want to attach much i'll just go ahead and stitch it by the side of the sleeve so at the lower part i will be attaching a clean olin so to attach a clean olin to the lower part of my skirt i'm just going to cut out a piece of fabric which i'm going to use to wrap it so this fabric is too big i'll just go ahead to cut it again so i'm done cutting it into two so i'll use this part and i'll wrap one end so before you cut out your clean olin please measure out the maximum length you need that will cover around your skirt so after wrapping this part i'm going to top stitch on it and i will wrap the other end also so i'm going to go ahead to attach this and i'll start attaching it from the back i'll go ahead and i will stitch it around my skirt with half inch 
So after I'm done sewing, at the end, this is what I have. I'm, I'm going to fold it in and I will flip it this way and top stitch on it again round my skirt. So you're going to top stitch till you get to the other end of the skirt also. So at this point, we have come to the end of today's tutorial and this is my final look. So at this point, if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and see you in our next video. Thanks.